Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to use the different options of paste special window in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have here some sales data and this employee name is coming using the VLOOKUP from this list sheet. Now let's say I want to put the employee name here in this column. I want to copy from here and I'll copy control C and here I will try to paste it using control B. You can see it is giving some error because it's a formula which is depend on this cell. We don't have anything here so it is showing has any error. Now in this case we need paste special. So let me remove this and let's copy it once again go to this cell and I will use alt E S as I press alt E S this paste special window will be popped up. Here we have multiple options. Now today I will explain all the options available in this paste special window. We will go one by one. First it is all. All means like we are using copy and simply paste control B. But in this case we want to paste only values not the formula. So let's select the value here and click on OK. Now you can see we have the employee name here and there is no formula. OK and it is the text is still copied. Now we want to apply the same format also so we can go to this cell again and we can press alt e s once again and this time we will take formats and click on ok now that format is also available all right if you want to apply this copy and paste on the same column or same range you can simply copy and you can paste a special value there so that formula will not be available you have the values only okay let me undo this you have some employee id here okay now i want to get the employee name formula i have already applied there i want to copy the same formula so i can copy and i can paste here as a formula although we can use the control b but let's say here i have given some background color or I may have some conditional formatting or anything then we will copy and paste all or control B then it will overwrite the conditional formatting or some data validation so we just want to copy the formula only in that case we can simply copy one or multiple cell let's take one only in this case and select the cell paste a special alt E S and we will use the formula or you can hit the F button also of your keyboard automatically it will select the formula then hit the enter. Now you can see it has copied the formula we have our original formatting here like background is yellow color. Alright friends so that is how you can use the all formula and value and formats. Now I will tell you about the comments and notes. Let's say you have added some comments here. Let's go to the review and add a new note here. Let's say here I'm putting test. Now if I will copy this cell and let's say I want to paste these notes here in this selection. Then I can press Alt E S and I can select comments and notes and click on OK. So it will copy only comments and notes not the value not the formatting nothing you can see that note is available here okay so in this case we can use comments and notes now i'll show you next one which is validation let's say you have some data validation and you want to copy the data validation only so let's create a data validation in this range this selection let's say i'm creating the list of the employee from the list tab so let's use alt D L to open the data validation and I'm going to create a list and source I'll take the list from employee name. Click on OK. Now here we have the data validation. Okay, you can see in the drop down list. Now let's say I want to copy only data validation. So one method is I will copy this and I will paste this here then I will delete 
because it has copied all we have the background formatting also so we want to take only validation then in this case copy and let's paste here as validation so you can see that validation is available here also all right friends that is how you can use how to paste only data validation now i'll show you some other things like all using source theme all except border column width and these all features so all using source theme means let's say we have a new workbook and we have some employee name or anything here let's take the employee id and employee name this data and let's paste this data here for example in this workbook or in this worksheet we are using some different theme of the excel so to change the theme you can go to the page layout and go to the themes let's select one theme here let's say i'm taking this last one and you can see as i took this theme everything has been changed and let's say i'm taking some color for the employee id go to the home and let's choose some color you can see this color palette also has been changed as we change the theme and let's take this one here let's take some now if i will try to copy this data into another workbook wherein the default theme is different you can see from here default theme is this office so let's paste this here automatically the color and the font all the things will be changed according to the default theme available in this workbook let's say we don't want to change the entire theme of this workbook but we want to paste this data according to the source theme so we can delete this and uh, let's go to the this one and copy it once again and this time we will paste as paste special alt e s and we can select this all using source theme now here you can see we have the we have pasted the data as per the existing theme and let's go to the home and i'll show you the color palette here this is new palette so that means it has taken only colors font and all the things but it is not taking the theme now i'll show you how you can copy except borders let's say we have some border here let's do some border now i want to copy this data here but i don't want to copy the border rest formatting should apply there so i'll use alt e s and i can say all except borders then here you can see border is not available rest font background color all the things are there all right friends now the next thing is how we can use the formula and number format then value and number format i'll tell you that one also let's say in this table let me put here rent between formula just to get the sales and fill this down now let's change the format as dollar or currency so let's take here currency okay so we have the this number format currency number format here and we have the formula okay now let's copy this and if i will copy and i will try to paste as value or the formula let's add a new sheet here i will try to paste here as a value then you can see it has pasted as a value but we don't have the formula and that number format is also not there then what we can do we can use alt e s and in this case we can use value and number format so we are pasting as a value and the number format so number format means that sales is in the currency format so it is there all right and if you want to paste as a formula paste alt e s and the formula formula and the number format you can do that also here we have the rent between formula as well as we have the same number format right currency is there same will be applicable for dates percentage or any other number format all right friends now the next is i will show you the column width it is very useful many times when we want to apply the same column width quickly i use this regularly we have this table now i am changing the width of this table column width quickly just to show you let's say i am saying the column width of this column e should apply for the other columns also 
I will copy this cell value, then I will select this range and I will use Alt E S to open the paste special window and this time I will select column width or I can press W. Click on OK. So you can see the same column width has been applied. Alright friends. Now I quickly show you this option also all merging conditional formats. And let's say here we have one conditional formatting and here we have another conditional formatting. So let's apply quickly this. Go to the home condition formatting highlight. Let's say I'm saying less than. Let's keep 48 there. And here I'm applying and highlight the duplicate values. Okay. So we have two condition formatting here. We want to merge these two condition formatting in a new selection. So I will simply copy this and here I will use Alt E S paste special and I'll use all merging condition formatting this one. So then I will copy this and I'll use Alt E S and all merging condition formatting this one. Now if I will use Alt O D to open the condition formatting rule manager here you can see both the condition formatting are applied. If I will simply copy and I will paste uh, in the second time then it will overwrite the first condition formatting. Let me show you. I'll use Alt O D. We have only last condition formatting here. Okay. So if we are pasting it and we want to keep the previous condition formatting also, then we will select this option. All right, friends. Now I'll quickly show you how we can use the operations in the paste spatial window, and it is quite useful. Let me show you. So let's remove the condition formatting from here quickly. Clear rule and from the entire sheet. Now let's say we want to add the 5 value in this selection quickly. We have 50, 36, 41 here and we can add here 5 either by typing or we can put some formula. The quickest way to add the 5 here, let's put here that value which you want to add that is 5 in this case, copy this, select that range, Alt E S, open the paste special window and let's paste as value and in the operations we will select add because we want to add the 5, click on OK. So here you can see quickly it has added 5. Similarly we can do the subtract, just copy the subtract value, select this range, paste special, we will select here subtract. We haven't selected value, so it has copied the formatting also. This one, and this time for the multiply, let's select Alt E S, select here value so that it will not highlight the background, and let's take the multiply here. So it is multiply by six. Now let's divide by eight for every value. So we will select this range, Alt E S values, and this time we will select the divide. It is divided by 8. So quickly we have divided by 8. Now this was the fixed values. If you will see in the formula bar, we don't have any formula. What if you have already one formula available? Here we have some if formula. You can see we are getting the sales here. I want to add 5 here in this 93. Then if we will try to add the 5, then what will happen? It will remove the formula, then it will add 5 or it will keep the formula. I'll show you. So let's take here 5, select this, go to this selection, press Alt E S and let's take value here and add, click on OK. You can see the formula has been changed, it has put two additional brackets and then it has added 5 here, alright. Let's divide it by 8 now, select this range, Alt E S and let's divide it, value OK. You can see now it is divided by 8. So automatically it will handle what you want to do. Alright friends, so it's quite useful. Now quickly I'll show you some other features which is also very useful like skip blank and transpose. Skip blank is used, let's say we have some blanks here. Okay, now we have some background color also. For example, now I want to copy these but I want to skip the blank. It should not copy the blanks formatting borders anything then i will use like i will copy this range paste a special and skip blank click on ok so you can see it has copied all but it hasn't copied the blanks all right 
So basically we can skip the blanks while copying. The transpose means if we want to copy this column and we want to put it in the horizontal because it's a vertical. Alt E S and let's go to the transpose, click on OK. So it has copied in the horizontal. Alright, if you want to get back into the vertical manner, you can copy it again and you can use Alt E S again transpose and click on OK. So basically transpose will convert horizontal to vertical, vertical to horizontal of your data. Alright, now the next and the last thing is paste link. It is also very useful. So let's say I want to paste the link. So let's copy this selection and I want to add a new seed and this time I want to paste as a link. So you can click on paste link. So it has copied all the data and it has pasted as a link. So here you can see it has put the formula equal to this one. So quickly you can copy and paste the link. You don't need to type manually equal to then connect with that cell. Copy from anywhere, paste on any Excel sheet as a link. All right, friends. Now, if we will change any value here in the operations, let's say here I'm putting 500 and I will come to this so automatically. It will show the 500 because we have pasted as a link. Friends, that is how we can use the paste special features. If you will use this in your regular work, it will make your life very easy. I hope you have enjoyed this video friends if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.